Light Distraction started in 2015. Um, I met Josh outside uh, a bar in town and we sort of formulated this mad idea to start a party. We came here to Constellations. Uh, it was only a few months after the venue here itself had opened and we basically booked a load of DJs, got all our mates in, spent way too much money on decor and threw a party and it sort of just carried on from there. And then I think our thirst for music sort of developed further and we started blogging about the local scene here in Liverpool. And I got involved and was like, I really want to do some more stuff and started writing articles, set up this online um, platform. Um, and then from that, things escalated and we started broadcasting. Uh, and then it kind of fell into place that it was a radio station. We didn't realise that we were kind of getting into it. We kind of started doing streaming and then it's turned from doing like seven shows uh, a month to now doing 65 shows a month. And then we started doing off-site streaming as well, which has kind of led us back to where we started doing our parties and we're doing stuff from the venue as well. So I originally met one of the members of the team working at a venue in the north of town. And then after that, I actually saw an advert on social media they were advertising for a fourth member to join the team and here we are, hello. <laughs> what I do day to day is I'll come in, it'll be my nine to five. Um, so I'll be coming in, checking shows that have been broadcast or that are going to be broadcast. Be running through like the programming of the shows week to week and um, getting in touch with show hosts, making sure they, they know when their slot is, if they've got artwork, if they've got content prepped for it. Um, hustling people to get the schedule together, coordinating the show hosts, helping them with their socials and the promotional materials. We'll be mastering shows and getting them online after the show's been live, or we'll be looking at um, radio promo, like new music that's coming out, reaching out to record labels, promo companies, stuff like that. Uh, Melo Extraction has over 60 shows now, and they range from promoters in the city to local record stores, independent artists, and individuals who probably would never have had the opportunity to perform in front of an audio audience and even a visual audience through Facebook Live. What we want to do with our radio station is broadcast Liverpool essentially to the world. We're also welcoming all the artists that come to the city on a weekly and monthly basis, whether they're international DJs or producers or people in bands. We're helping them uh, get to their audiences by coming on radio. Um, so a lot of the shows um, previously started off being quite electronic focused, DJ focused, and with definitely like a club edge leading it. And now we're doing a lot more live setups. We're doing a lot of people bringing their own instruments and their own hardware into the studio. Studio setup is what we've got behind us. Um, we started off with a pretty basic setup and it's just gradually grown on grown month by month. Uh, so here I'd say as much as possible it's an industry standard for clubs and radio shows. Uh, we've got a Pioneer CDJ Nexus uh, 1000s, you've got your 1210s, we've got um, a Pioneer uh, SRT 900 mixer and that all runs through into our um, audio interface which will hook up to our computer and then we'll broadcast live uh, radio with the mics as well and then that will go um, audio through NiceCast going onto our website and through radio.co um, we broadcast the audio as well and that goes onto our website through all the different software on a computer. Radio.co is actually pretty vital to um, broadcasting the audio for our radio shows onto our website. They're basically the little interface that hooks up our mixer onto um, onto our website and it's, it allows us to program live shows, it allows us to re-loop um, older shows and it also allows us to put playlists on and this is just constantly running on our website. Yeah, we've had some really exciting people on radio so far. We've had like DJ Boring, we've had Jada G, who else have we had? Um, Des Andres from Detroit, uh, Roy Davis Jr. came through from Chicago. Yeah, um, we've even had, uh, oh we had uh, Dave Owen, Ali Anwar, uh, Ali's from the Bajuni Islands, which is like a stateless island off the coast of Somalia who plays like beautiful folk music on his oud. Uh, and that was on the, that was on the, the Africa Oye show, show, yeah. yeah. There used to be a pirate radio scene here in Liverpool and there wasn't for a long time, basically in the early noughties it kind of dropped off and they really provided a focus for the musical communities around here and this is kind of reviving that again. So although we're an internet based radio station, uh, we like to think of ourselves sort of more uh, as a community focused entity. Um, the different hosts that we have don't just come on and do their monthly two hour show. A lot of people have been really up for getting involved 
uh, bringing in their skills in different areas. So one of the hosts is helping us with web development, one of the hosts is helping us make a video ahead of our crowdfunder, uh, other hosts have helped us with legal advice and just different aspects of running the station, so it's really got a nice community feel to it. We'll broadcast our radio shows live um, as they're going out, and that'll be on our website and on Facebook. Um, but then afterwards, we'll master the shows and we'll get them back online onto our website. With that, we'll be um, uploading to Mixcloud and then via Mixcloud, we'll embed it onto our website. And on our website, we'll do a little uh, bio for each radio show with links to their relevant um, social media pages and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that is, that is what I would say is how we push our radio shows post-show. Yeah, we try and make it kind of a little bit different by um, incorporating the video into everything we do with radio. So whether that's in the studio, we make it look so you, every time you see the setup and you can see the studio, or with all the, um, the live shows that we do, it's really important to have that video because it makes us different to, compared to a lot of radio stations who is, is just an audio platform. In terms of melodic distraction in the future, we, we've got quite a few bits and bobs lined up. We're going to be launching our crowdfunder, which is going to be a really exciting project to make radio 24 hour. We're going to be hoping to raise £10,000 to be able to implement the infrastructure to have a radio station online that is always going at the point of use to our customers. So that's going to be using the help of radio.co to have this online software which allows us to implement live shows, playlists and playback shows all the time uh, and hopefully launch an app as well. So mm. that's going to be launching in April. Um, yeah, and as a result of that crowdfunding, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to be able to uh, increase our programming and operate as a 24-hour station, which hopefully means we can get more artists on board, whether they're national artists or local artists. So we're looking at really reaching outwards a little bit more. I'm particularly looking forward to collaborating with other radio stations. We're looking to grow, um, build a more cohesive setup in terms of we've got our radio set up here, but we also want to do a second setup which is more what I'd say is like a sofa setup, whereby we want to just have one turntable and have microphones on the sofa, and then we can just sit down and maybe talk through an album, or just have it much more like talk-based show. Um, so in terms of the radio station, that is something that we're looking for in the future. So yeah, it's really exciting, looking forward, and um, hopefully continue to do more live band streaming here at Constellations. Um, as I'm sure we've said already, we've got On The Corner Festival happening here at the end of April, which we're all very excited about. And for that, we're going to be looking at live streaming loads of the artists we've booked, some of the DJs as well, as well as going out into record stores around town, live streaming from those locations as well. So really taking the radio into that sort of environment and promoting not only the artist that's playing, but the actual business itself. And also kind of helping people to kind of see and visualise radio because obviously it's an online thing but the more you can kind of connect with people, the more excited people get about it because they can see it happening at, on their doorstep really. It's really exciting that way. So yeah, that's what we're kind of trying to promote, people being there.